Hi, I'm Mary Ellen, and welcome to Thursday's Science Challenge with Headwater Science Institute. Today we're going to be working with quadrats. A quadrat is a square that scientists use to measure things. Your challenge is going to be to make a quadrat and measure something in your backyard. So, something that you can make a quadrat out of that's very simple that you have at your house is a wire coat hanger. All you have to do is take the wire and unwrap it and start bending it into a square. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be sort of rectangular, but the closer you can get to a square, the better. So push it and pull it until you get close to a square shape, and then you can wrap the ends, or you can wrap it in duct tape to make it stick. Voila. Another way to make a quadrat is to get some sticks in your yard. You want to break them off so they're pretty much the same size and then you can get some duct tape and wrap the corners to keep them together. You're probably going to want another set of hands for this, but the idea is get a square built. There's three sides anyway. Now that we have a quadrat, let's do some science. I'm looking at my yard and I'm wondering how many pine needles are on the snow in my yard. I can't possibly go count all of them because there are thousands of them, but I can get a pretty good idea using my quadrat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my quadrat and I'm going to throw it out randomly. It's important to throw out randomly because you don't want to bias your results. You don't want to throw it where you think there might be the most pine needles. So, there it is. Even though the quadrat is much smaller than my yard, I can do some simple math and take the information I get from the quadrat and find out what's going on in my yard. Now that I've found my quadrat on the snow, I'm going to count how many pine needles are in there. I'm going to count everything that's even touching the inside of the quadrat. So if any part of the needle is in the quadrat, I'm going to count it. I've counted 21 pine needles, and I'm counting the bundles like this, the sets of three. And not this is counted as one and not three. But however you do it, just do it the same in each quadrat. The next thing I'm going to do is average the number in my quadrats to get an overall picture of what I see outside. I have 10 quadrats that I sampled and I'm going to add the numbers up. They equal 166. And since I did 10 quadrats, I'm going to divide it by 10, which gives me 16.6 .6 average number of pine needles in my samples. I'm going to round up that 16.6 .6 needles to 17 needles per quadrat. My quadrat measures 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters, so the area, length times width, is 600 centimeters squared. But how many needles do I have in one centimeter? All I need to do is take the 17 needles and divide it by the 600 centimeters squared, and I get how many needles are in one centimeter, which is 0 0.028 or rounded to 0 0.03 needles in one centimeter. Now that I know that I have 0 0.03 needles in one centimeter, I need to figure out how big my yard is. I measured it at 30 meters by 60 meters, which converts to 3,000 centimeters by 6,000 centimeters. If I multiply the two to get my area, I end up with 18 million centimeters squared. Now if I multiply the number of needles per one centimeter by how many centimeters I have in my yard, I end up with 540,000 needles in my yard. Wow, that's going to be a lot of raking. Good luck on your investigation. One tip I have for you is use your quadrat to measure things that are a lot of, like grass or pine needles or sprouting plants. Now that you know how to use a quadrat, go out in your yard and figure out what you can find.